Long Island, New York is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. With an extensive coastline of over 100 miles, there's no shortage of sandy shores here. And with over 100 beaches to choose from, selecting the perfect spot can be a daunting task. This is where we come in. In this video, we'll take a scenic tour of the top 10 beaches on Long Island, showcasing their unique features and highlighting why we believe they are truly the best. You'll get to experience the beauty of these beaches from a bird's eye view and save yourself the time and effort of traveling to each location. We'll guide you through the best spots to spend your summer vacation and by the end of this video, you'll understand why Long Island beaches are considered to be some of the best in the world. We'll even reveal our number one pick and the reasons why it's our favorite. So let's jump right in. My love for the beach was nurtured while growing up on Long Island where I spent countless hours exploring its sandy shores. Even after traveling to beaches all over the world, I've come to realize that Long Island holds its own among the world's finest. It's no surprise that people from far and wide flock to Long Island's beaches, particularly during the summer months, to experience their beauty for themselves. One of the best aspects of Long Island beaches is the variety. From quiet, secluded coves to bustling boardwalks, there's a beach for everyone. The sand is some of the softest and most pristine in the country. The water is clean and inviting, with an average temperature of around 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Whether you're looking to soak up some sun, try a new water sport, or just relax with a good book, you'll find it here. Our first stop is in the charming town of Montauk at South Edison Beach, which is just a couple of short blocks from the village. Montauk beaches rank among the top in the country. Great rolling breakers move in on miles of white gleaming sand. There's no boardwalks or development here, and it's all natural. In some places, low rolling dunes rim the beach. In others, you'll find high cliffs. Montauk is known for its spectacular 70-foot high bluffs, which stretch all the way to the point. As you can see, there are a variety of hotels and resorts to choose from. If you plan on coming in the summer, I suggest you book in advance since most of these places sell out quickly. The best deals are gotten off-season, and you should consider coming in the late spring or early fall when the weather is still beautiful and the crowds are gone. Bounce Beach is a popular new bar and restaurant located on South Emerson Avenue right on the beach. Along with the spectacular views from the upper level, it features brunch, lunch, and dinner, and a grab-and-go window for those looking for a quick bite on the fly. As we make our way onto the sand, you could see people setting up for the day with plenty of room to spread out and enjoy their own space. With average water temperatures hovering around 74 degrees in August, a dip in the ocean provides a refreshing break from the summer heat. Just down the road on the western side of the village, located on South Emerson Avenue, you'll find Kirk Park Beach. This is another beautiful public beach and features lifeguard protection, daily beach parking, beach access for your vehicle if you have a Town of East Hampton permit, and ADA accessible restrooms. The beach is open year-round with restrooms open mid-May through mid-October. There's free parking right across from the dunes if you have a Town of East Hampton parking permit. Otherwise, the beach parking is $35 per day, which you only have to pay when the lifeguards are on duty. Given the convenience, I think it's well worth it. Kirk Park Beach is open for swimming from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. when the lifeguards are on duty and within the designated areas. Our next stop is a short ride from town heading west on Old Montauk Highway to Gurney's Resort and Seawater Spa. Gurney's is one of the most exclusive places you can stay while in Montauk. There's no doubt that one of the major highlights about Gurney's is that it's located right on a 2,000 foot long private sand beach with direct access for all guests to enjoy. Lifeguards are on duty protecting swimmers during the day. 
The resort has 158 rooms, suites, and beachfront cottages, each delivering dramatic ocean views and access to the beach club. The beach club provides hundreds of lounge chairs and umbrellas lined in the sand, which are reserved for resort guests. You don't need to pack much of anything for your day on the beach as the chairs, umbrellas, and towels are all complimentary. You can also order food and drinks and have them delivered to you without ever leaving your lounge chair. Just bring your sunscreen, favorite book to read, or music to listen to, and you're all set for the day. The resort includes a seawater spa, which provides a wide variety of wellness treatments to make your stay even more pleasurable. There's also a well-equipped fitness center that includes weight and cardio rooms, and guests can enjoy complimentary workouts including yoga, water aerobics, boxing, Pilates, and more. While there's plenty of opportunity for quiet and peaceful rest and relaxation at the beach club, you also have the option for a more upbeat time at the beachside bar. DJs and artist performances provide entertainment every weekend around the bar area where you can enjoy sounds by the sea. Music is provided by an array of local musicians, DJs, vibrant artists, and performers throughout the season at the beach club and fire pit. Montauk is a unique and charming beach town that exudes a strong summertime vibe. One of the things that makes Montauk special is the wide variety of restaurants available, ranging from casual beachside eateries to upscale seafood restaurants, you're sure to find something to suit your taste. In addition to its delicious food scene, Montauk also boasts plenty of shops and sites to explore. When the sun goes down, Montauk's nightlife comes alive with plenty of indoor and outdoor dining options and live music venues, perfect for a fun night out. Montauk is a top choice for a beach vacation with its unique atmosphere, delicious food, and wide range of activities. You can't go wrong choosing Montauk. Next up, we'll be heading to Cupsog Beach County Park. As we make our way west on Dune Road, we get to enjoy the scenic views of the luxurious and exclusive beachfront homes. Dune Road runs parallel to the Atlantic Ocean and offers breathtaking views of the ocean, dunes, and beach in an area that's known for its natural beauty and upscale atmosphere. Dune Road is also a popular spot for biking, running, and walking, and provides access to several beach communities. Cupsog Beach is a unique and picturesque beach offering a wide variety of recreational activities, including swimming, fishing, sunbathing, bird watching, and hiking. Located in the town of West Hampton, this 296 acre park is at the eastern tip of Fire Island and the western end of Dune Road. The park itself is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, Mauritius Inlet, and Mauritius Bay. The beach is known for its wide, sandy shoreline and crystal clear turquoise waters, making it a great spot for swimming, sunbathing, and other beach activities. As you walk down the boardwalk and onto the beach, you can't help but feel the unique atmosphere and the specialness of this place. The boardwalk adds an extra touch of charm, providing an elevated view of the ocean and the beach, and it's a perfect spot to take in the natural beauty of the surroundings. I couldn't help but notice the stunning clarity of the water with a beautiful shade of turquoise. It was warm and inviting, providing a truly tropical vibe that many people of all ages couldn't resist. The beach was spacious enough for us to pick our spot without feeling cramped by other people. During the summer months, the beach is staffed by lifeguards to protect your little ones and ensure the safety of those who venture into the sea. The beach is also a popular spot for fishing, with many anglers taking advantage of the diverse marine life found in the waters off the coast. You can also experience the ocean's beauty while listening to live music on the boardwalk during the summer. While you're there, don't forget to treat yourself to a refreshing mudslide from Tiki Joe's concession stand. If you want to take a break from the beach, you can head into West Hampton, which is a small but vibrant downtown area. It offers many options for dining, shopping, and other activities, making it a great spot for both relaxation and fun. Cupsog Beach is a perfect destination for those who want to spend a day on a gorgeous beach, enjoying the sun and the ocean, 
in a family-friendly and scenic spot with plenty of options for entertainment and amenities beyond the beach. Our next destination is Davis Park Beach. Davis Park Beach on Fire Island is a secluded and natural setting known for its clear ocean waters and white sandy beaches. The beach can only be accessed by ferry or private boat, which makes it a perfect location for those looking for a secluded and tranquil beach vacation. The Davis Park Marina is one of the largest on Fire Island, with over 200 slips, electric and water hookups, and bathroom facilities with showers, this marina is perfect for boaters. The marina also has the harbor store and regular ferry service to and from Long Island. Several years ago, I was first introduced to this awesome location by a friend who lives in Patchog. We took a short boat ride across the Great South Bay and anchored at the marina about 20 minutes later. The beach is just about 100 yards away and is accessible via a well-paved pathway making it easy to carry our beach chairs and coolers. As soon as I arrived at the beach, I noticed the beauty of the ocean and the seclusion it offered. There's plenty of space, ensuring that you're not cramped or surrounded by too many people. For a change of pace, you can visit the Casino Cafe and Bar, which is located just a few steps back from the beach. This is one of the rare restaurants on the island with an expansive oceanside view. You can grab lunch or dinner here or have a drink on the deck while listening to the live music and enjoying the view. Overall, Davis Park Beach is a unique place with plenty to do for families looking to get away or singles looking to party. It's a perfect place to visit if you're looking for a secluded, tranquil beach or you're looking to get out on the water to a destination where you can have some serious fun. Barrett Beach Park is the ideal destination for those looking for a secluded and scenic beach experience. Located about two miles from Davis Park, this beach and boating paradise can only be accessed by foot, private boat, or via the charter ferry service from Patchogue or Sayville. This exclusivity adds to the overall secluded and peaceful atmosphere of the beach. As beautiful as it is, I cannot rate it in the top 10 as I haven't made it onto the sand. Once you arrive at the beach, you'll be greeted with majestic ocean views and crystal clear waters that resemble the Caribbean. The beach has a boat dock for loading and unloading, but boaters must ultimately anchor offshore, making it a bit more of a hassle to get there. During the summer months, lifeguards are on duty from July 4th through Labor Day on weekends and holidays between the hours of 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., ensuring that visitors can enjoy the beach safely. However, aside from the seasonal restrooms and some picnic tables, there are not many other amenities available. Barrett Beach's lack of development and crowds make it the perfect place to enjoy a natural and secluded beach experience while taking in the beauty of nature. Next up, we're heading to the beautiful beaches of Robert Moses State Park. Located on the western end of Fire Island, the park features a beautiful five mile long beach that stretches along the Atlantic Ocean. I've been coming here for many years and today we'll be visiting two of my favorite spots that I consider to be the best beaches here. The water is clean and clear and the sand is soft and white, making Robert Moses Beaches the perfect spot for swimming, beach combing, or just relaxing and soaking up the sun. One of the things that makes Robert Moses stand out is its pristine natural beauty. The beach is surrounded by dunes which provide a natural barrier against the storms and erosion. The park is home to a variety of plant and animal life, and it's not unusual to see wild deer roaming around in the park, so take care while driving and observe the speed limits. There are several parking lots and concession stands where you can purchase snacks, drinks, and beach supplies, and where you'll also find showers and restrooms. Our next stop is at Field 2. If you're planning on visiting Robert Moses, it's important to keep in mind that the beach can get quite crowded during the summer months. Despite the crowds, you can still find seclusion by taking a stroll to the outer edges of the beach on either side. In addition to the beach, the park also offers a variety of other amenities for families to enjoy, such as picnic areas and playgrounds. Additionally, the Fire Island Lighthouse, which is one of the tallest in the U.S., is accessible to you via short hike from the park's Field 5 parking lot. Simply follow a boardwalk and a sand path through the dunes to the lighthouse. The scenic hike is about a mile long and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Oftentimes I come across deer grazing in the woods along the trail. 
In summary, Robert Moses is an essential stop for anyone looking to experience the beauty and majesty of Long Island's beaches. We're continuing our travels on Ocean Parkway, heading west towards Jones Beach. This scenic route is my personal favorite on Long Island. The world-famous Jones Beach State Park has the most diverse amenities of all the beaches on Long Island. There's six and a half miles of white sand beach on the ocean and covers 2,400 acres. The park's oceanfront setting and natural environment have little development, creating a refreshing break from the hectic pace of life on Long Island. The most populous section and my favorite spot is Field 6, home of the East Bath House at the easternmost section of the park. The parking lot here fills up first because of its oceanfront location and shortest walk to the ocean. This peaceful and quiet beach offers a vast stretch of sand with ample space for everyone, even during peak summer weekends. Furthermore, this beach serves as a starting point for the boardwalk, granting easy access to the rest of the park and just a stroll away from the Central Mall. Mobility mats over the sand simplify the journey down to the high tide line. Jones Beach provides a wide range of activities, ensuring that there is something for everyone to enjoy. In addition to sunbathing, swimming, strolling or biking on the boardwalk, you can also indulge in an evening of live music beneath the starlit sky at the Northwell Help Theater. This happens to be one of my favorite activities on warm summer nights, and with a large variety of artists that play here, I make it a priority to attend every summer. The park is also host to a number of popular shows that draw crowds from all over the New York area. Most notably are the Beth Page Air Show every Memorial Day weekend and the July 4th Fireworks Spectacular. While there's about 6 million visitors that come to the park each year, you can bring your family and still enjoy your own piece of the beach for the day. I've been coming here my entire life and intend to continue doing so in the future. If you enjoy bike riding, this is a great destination. I take my bike from Cedar Creek Park in Seaford and enjoy the 5.4 mile ride to the boardwalk. From there, you can stay on the path of the two mile long boardwalk or continue for an additional 2.3 miles to the west end area of the park. If you're feeling adventurous, you can stop at the Wild Play Adventure Course right on the boardwalk between fields five and six. Here you'll find zip lines, aerial adventures, and a 40 foot jump. As you can see, there's an abundance of things to do here and I highly recommend that you come to Jones Beach and experience the many ways to enjoy this beautiful place. Tobey Beach is a popular summertime destination and is run by the town of Oyster Bay. Situated about four miles east of Jones Beach, Tobey is a family-friendly beach that offers a wide variety of activities for both kids and adults to enjoy. The beach itself is wide and clean with soft sand and clear waters and rolling waves that are perfect for swimming, surfing, and sunbathing. The beach also has a designated area for fishing and bodyboarding is permitted in all areas too. There's a large parking lot with access to the water through one of three different tunnels. There are also showers and restrooms available and lifeguards are on duty during the summer season. Parking is $20 daily or $60 per season for town residents, and on weekdays, the beach is also open to non-residents for $30 a day. Pedestrians, skaters, and bikers can take the path to Tow Bay and enter from Ocean Parkway without having to pay for parking. One of the main attractions of the beach is its 150-slip transient boat basin on the bayside, providing easy access for boaters with facilities for boat launching and dockage. There's also a water spray park and playgrounds to keep your kids entertained. One of the things I love about the beach is the two bayside restaurants that offer live music entertainment. The Surf Shack is a waterfront tropical coastal kitchen for casual dining with a tiki bar under real palm trees, and the Boat Yard is a bar and grill featuring a variety of dining options. During the warm summer nights, many people can be seen camping out at the beach to catch a glimpse of the beautiful sunset over the bay. My wife and I come here often during the summer months to enjoy the tropical setting along with delicious food and live music under the stars at the boat yard. It's a perfect way to spend an exciting evening with friends and family while enjoying a beautiful view.
Overall, Tobey Beach is a great destination for families and anyone looking for a fun, relaxing day out on the water with a number of options for dining and entertainment in the evening. Our next stop is at Long Beach. Long Beach, commonly known as the City by the Sea, is a picturesque community nestled along the Atlantic Ocean located in the western part of Nassau County. There's no doubt that the beach and boardwalk are the main attractions in the city, drawing visitors from all over the region during the summer months. In fact, many people live here simply because of the proximity to the ocean. Driving through the streets here gives you a true sense of its beach town vibe. The atmosphere is laid back and relaxed and the streets are filled with a mix of tourists and locals, all of whom seem to be in a good mood and enjoying their surroundings. The Four Mile Beach is known for its wide expanse of white sand and deep blue water, making it a popular spot for swimming, surfing, sunbathing, and a variety of beach games like volleyball. The boardwalk is a 2.2 mile long walkway that runs parallel to the beach, offering clear and expansive views of the ocean, as well as a variety of shops and restaurants. The boardwalk attracts visitors from all over New York for walking, bike riding, skateboarding, or just relaxing. I come here in the summer months to walk or ride my bike along the boardwalk and enjoy the beautiful views. Throughout the year, there are festivals and a variety of other activities happening right on the boardwalk and the beach. The beach boasts an abundance of soft white sand, providing ample space for visitors to comfortably relax without feeling cramped. The ocean's water is clear and invigorating, attracting many people looking to beat the summer heat with a refreshing swim. It's not uncommon to see surfers here year-round when the surf's up at a number of permitted locations. Lifeguards are on duty throughout the summer, providing a safe environment for visitors to enjoy the beach. There are also showers available on the boardwalk next to some of the restrooms. Season beach passes are available for residents and non-residents, otherwise you can just purchase a daily pass. You can even purchase these on your mobile device. Long Beach offers a variety of parking options for visitors to the beach and boardwalk. The city also has a history of vibrant nightlife with live music available year-round at a variety of bars and restaurants, making it a popular destination for visitors of all ages. Overall, Long Beach offers a perfect blend of beach and city life providing visitors with many activities to enjoy. Whether you're looking for a relaxing day at the beach or an exciting night out in a town, Long Beach has something to offer. So there you have it, our top 10 Long Island beaches. Each one offers something special and unique, however, there's only room for one absolute best pick. While it's likely you'll enjoy yourself no matter what choice you make, our top pick is none other than Cupsog Beach. Cubsog Beach stands out as our top choice for the best beach on Long Island. With its breathtaking natural beauty, picturesque beachfront location, and crystal clear Caribbean-like waters and soft sand, it truly stands out as a gem. This beach is perfect for anyone looking to unwind and take in the peaceful surroundings while also enjoying the convenience of nearby shopping, dining, and entertainment options. So if you're planning a visit to any one of the Long Island beaches, Make sure you put Cupsog Beach on your must-see list and experience the beauty for yourself. But we want to hear from you. Have we missed your favorite beach on Long Island? Leave a comment below and let us know. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.